right, boys and girls, here it is. This is the HTC 10. Now, actually, we've had one of these before. <laughs> I've had it for almost a month now. Uh, in fact, here it is. But uh, we don't always get retail first thing. So this is fresh off the truck, a retail HTC 10, just like anyone can buy. So if you have questions about buying the HTC 10, uh, hopefully this will answer a few of them, at least in North America, as for what's in the box. So I haven't even opened this yet. Let's take a look, shall we? So this is kind of your uh, standard HTC box over the past year or so. Uh, nicely designed, as HTC does. HTC 10, if you had any question about what it was that's in the box, that should answer it. Uh, this is actually kind of textured. It's pretty cool. Uh, little tiny raised dots. I like that. On the back, you get a whole bunch of uh, just specs of what's going on. By the way, this runs Android, just in case you didn't know. It is a 32 gigabyte model with the asterisk, because you never actually get 32 gigabytes. Uh, what else have we? Snapdragon 820, 5.2 inches, Quad HD. This is actually one of the first Quad HD uh, displays that HTC has done. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM. Micro SD up to 2 terabytes, though there's not actually a 2 terabyte card yet. Uh, 12 megapixel camera, sorry, ultra pixel, not megapixel, it's whatever. Uh, 5 megapixel ultra pixel, ooh, it's funny how it says megapixel in both, but whatever. Uh, Dolby Audio, that's kind of cool. High-res audio, that's actually a lot of fun if you haven't uh, played with that yet. Cool. My favorite feature, period, hands down, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. So very cool. This is also USB Type-C. So, enough of that. Let's actually open the box. So, all right. Uh, covered in plastic, world's first OIS front and back. So, yes, there is optical image stabilization on the uh, front camera up to two days battery life yeah yes maybe sort of uh, i've been using it for a while now i'm getting easily a good full day out of it uh, most of the time but quick charge again means that you don't have to worry about that quite as much uh boom sound hi-fi edition so the speaker's a little different i'll walk you through that in a second and yes a 2k display so it shows you where the buttons are just in case you couldn't figure it out Power button over there. Fingerprint sensor down here. See what it shows in the back? All right, so in the back, it's walking you through uh, where to put the SIM card. The SIM card goes on this side, and where to put the micro SD card, which is on this side. So hopefully uh, nobody messes that up. It's pretty tough to mess up, which means somebody absolutely will. So let's pull this plastic off. And oh, we've got more stickers on the bottom. Uh, what is all this? That's actually in French. Uh, I think it's, it might all be in French. Interesting. Uh, so this is a North American model. I tell you what, we'll fire it up as we look and see what else is in the box. So, very cool. Uh, we've got your SIM card remover. So you'll need that for uh, both the SIM card and the micro SD slot. We've got your usual legalese and you know, IMEI stickers and stuff like that in there. Don't care. Um, after that, this is all we've got. This is all that's in the box. You've got uh, HCC's special power adapter. So uh, this has what the, they say it has you know, special surge protection and stuff like that. Uh, and it will keep it from heating up too much as it's charging. And then you've got a USB-A to USB-C cable for it. And that is it. So uh, there is no, you see, no earbuds in this. Because in North America, we do not get the special high-res audio earbuds. Nope, no headsets in this one. Do you want to see it? If you guys can wait 10 seconds, I will show you the high-res earbuds. Hang on. If I can find them. So these are, uh, shall we say, lived in. <laughs> I've been using these for a few weeks. These are the earbuds that HTC is selling separately in North America. You do not get these in the box in North America. But they sound really, really good. So this is starting up for the very first time, which means it has to rebuild the cache for all the apps that are in there. That's going to take a few minutes. So if you guys have any uh, questions, I'll answer them pretty quickly. Uh, let's see, where are the headphones? Just answered that. It's not in there. There they are. But 
they do not come in this box. I can't stress that enough, at least not in the U.S. Elsewhere, they're awesome. Um, any other questions? Fire them off. Wish more manufacturers would sell phones directly unlocked with bands for all North American carriers, says Christopher. Yes, absolutely. Um, again, very uh, large chamfers on the side of this phone. You've got dual tone flash, you've got laser autofocus, and they just released an update in uh, Europe yesterday, day before, uh, that you know, helps clear all this up just a little bit. It's already really good, but now it's even better. Headphone jack on the top, power button here on the side, volume rocker, SD card on this, no, my, or, uh, SIM card on this side, SD card on this side. Down on the bottom is your fingerprint sensor. It doesn't move, it's not a clickable button or anything. Uh, but it is, you know, it, it works wonderfully. I've been using this for weeks now, and it's great. Who's your daddy, and what does he do? We actually have the same name. My dad and I. How about that? Does it support fast charging? Yes. This is Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, and it's great. I love it. It's my favorite feature ever. Guys, don't freak out about how long this is taking. It's caching the abs. This is normal. It's completely normal. How's the camera on the phone? The camera is actually pretty good. It's maybe not the best out there, but it's really good, and I haven't wanted to, you know, use another phone alongside it. Let's see, RAM size and antenna. Four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, can it do 4.5G internet? Uh, it does LTE here in the States. Same volume rocker as M8. Um, I don't know. Hang on one sec. I'll grab my M8, and we'll see. Where's my M8? Anybody seen my M8? sure where my M8 went. So we'll have to uh, excuse that. Selfie, good or bad? The selfie camera is actually really good. Um, I'm waiting to get the camera update here in the States. Then I'm going to do a bunch of uh, selfie showdowns. It's not very slow, guys. If you think this is slow, it's recaching every app like you have to do after a hard reset. That is not abnormal. Display size, 5.2 inches, which uh, for me is a really good size. I like it. I have zero problems with that. This or Nexus 6P, the 6P is huge compared to this. It's a really big phone. Uh, this for me, and I have smaller hands, but this just feels really good. All right, here we go. Finishing boot. I'll walk you through it real quick. Uh, Android 6.0, yes, it does have Marshmallow on it already, as it should. So, any other questions real quick? All right, welcome. You think this will be a good step up? From uh, the Moto Nexus 6? Yes, absolutely. Is it heavy? Uh, I think, I'm trying to think, I think the number is 162 grams. So it's not light, but it's not the heaviest phone I've used. Uh, so I'll walk you through the startup process real quick. Terms of use, blah, blah, blah. Where's it heat up? Uh, it heats up a little bit right here, but I haven't had it get overly hot yet at all. So set up internet access. Uh, sure, why not? You don't get to see my internet password. You're in my office. So, we'll turn on Wi-Fi. How easy is it to use with one hand? Pretty easy. I can't quite reach all the way across, but I have frequently small thumbs, so that's just me. All right, next, use mobile data. Sure, I don't actually have a SIM card in it yet, but that's fine. Does this have the pink hue at extreme angles? Um, I don't think so. What's the megapixels for camera? Five on the front, and it has OIS, and 12 on the back. Now remember, these are ultra pixels, not just megapixels. I'll tell you what, we're going to skip the Google sign in, because I don't feel like doing that right now. And because I have a, don't have a SIM card in it, it doesn't know how much it is. How's the touch experience? It's really good. And in fact, HTC will tell you um, it is actually one of the fastest touch responses that you can get. I, I can't tell. But I, you know, I'll take their word for it on, on that sort of timing. What is the abbreviation of HTC? It used to stand for high-tech computer, now it's HTC. Battery life. So uh, it's 3,000 milliamp hours. And uh, for me, it easily gets you know, a full day's use, like a good full day's use. Every now and then, you have to charge, but it's quick charge, so it charges quickly. Uh, what does UltraPixel mean? That means they have these really, so you have the sensor, and the sensor is this little you know, square thing on the phone. And on the sensor, 
individual pixels. And the larger those pixels are, the, uh, the more light can hit them. So that's what's going on with that. So they've had larger ones for a while now. Looks thick. Yeah, it's not a thin phone. Um, you know, not by any stretch of the imagination. But the curve, I think, makes up for that a lot. How's the battery compared to GS7? Better, I think. Uh, you know, they're about, what is it, the GS7 is what, 2,800 milliamp hours, I think? This is, you know, a full 3,000. Not the largest battery out there, uh, but it does really well. So 3,000 milliamp hours for the battery. So here it is if you haven't seen it. This is, they don't actually call it Sense8, but it's Sense8. It's the new version of Sense. So uh, you still have blink feed here. And you see what it's running out of the box. I mean, it's running 6.0. I just don't remember what. All right, so I believe it will be getting an update, like now, if I get it. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's already updating stuff, so that's cool. So, there you go. Uh, how does it feel in your hand? It feels really good. I've been using this for weeks. I like it a lot. Is the speaker let down? No, no, it's different. So, if you haven't heard about the speakers, you have high sounds or treble sounds coming out of the earpiece straight at you. Low sounds are coming out of the speaker down here. It's not quite like a full subwoofer. You get a lot of mix of uh, mids in there, but it's pretty good. Is the gaming experience smooth? Uh, I think so. I don't play a whole lot of games on my phone. I use tablets for that. But yeah, I mean, Snapdragon 820 has done pretty well. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I've got all sorts of updates coming in here right now. Increase the brightness? Sure. So uh, the big deal about Sense, not Sense 8, just the new Sense from HTC, is it's a mix of HTC, like this is their app drawer, but as you saw, these are very much Google's notifications in a quick setting. So it's a good mix, and in fact, like uh, the camera uses Google Photos. It doesn't have its own gallery, though you can download the HTC Gallery app. Is it unlocked with the footprint? No, I have not used my feet to unlock it yet. Brightness is up all the way, guys. Uh, brightness levels highest and lowest. I mean, it's it's bright. I'm not crazy about the auto brightness on this. Um, I think it could be improved a little bit. So that's as dark as it gets. And that's as bright as it gets. I don't quite think the camera is uh, accurately showing you how good the display looks. The display is pretty good. Looks really laggy. I don't know why you think that, but okay. All in all, this is probably my favorite phone of the year so far. No physical button? No, it does not move. It is, you know, capacitive, but it does take you home whenever you hit it, in addition to being the fingerprint sensor. Do you think this is a phone worth buying? Absolutely, I do. Absolutely. Wireless charging? No, no wireless charging. Ben test? No. Screw you, Jared. Um, Jared works for us, I can say that. Uh, HD sounds or... Uh, missed it. Was it HTC sounds or Samsung sounds? Which sounds better? Uh, Speaker-wise, this absolutely sounds better in the GS7. Is the camera laggy like the S5? No, the camera's not laggy. Test the speakers. I don't have any music on this. I'm not sure if it'll play anything. Let's see. No, because it's got Google Play Music, so you're going to have to wait on that. And besides, you're not going to hear the speakers very well through Facebook Live. Come on. Uh, screen technology, LCD 5. Uh, my only problem with that is I live in a place that's very sunny. And with sunglasses, it's not great. Don't, again, we're just having fun here. Uh, but for me, it's not great with polarized sunglasses. That's kind of a thing. The UI is pretty crazy. Nah, the UI is just fine. Does it feel slippery like the M8? No. It's, you know, this chamfer helps a lot. I love the way it picks up the light like that. Very cool. NFC, yes, everything has NFC now. How's the camera compared to the M8 and M9? Much better. Absolutely. Drop test, please? No. Does it come with any accessories? No. This is all it comes with in North America. Again, if you're elsewhere in the world, you will get these high-res earbuds, which are really, really good, but not in North America. All right, I think that's going to do it. Uh, if you haven't, go read our full review. I'll link it here uh, in this video so you can read that. And we've got updates as well. So a whole lot going on with this, the HTC 10. See ya.